Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Dante, and this football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. It's the LBCC Vikings out in Huntington Beach looking to get things back on track after losing last week to San Diego Mesa. This week, they take on the 3-1 Golden West Wrestlers. Vikings coming out hot on the first drive. Blaze McKibben firing one over to Jeff Trapagner, who steps out of bounds before he can get taken down. And their pass game was looking strong, catching Golden West sleeping on a couple of their routes. Even the run game was working for them. Blaze's feet were blazing after this tuck and run for a nice pickup for the Vikings. But this drive will come to a quick ending after the wrestlers pick off Blaze on their way to take over on downs. Sophomore Dejan Van Hook almost got the ball back for the Vikings, but the ref said it hit the floor first and Golden West was able to keep possession. That would set up a field goal for the first points of the game and they take a lead 3 to nothing. And the previous drive might have deflated the Vikings offense a little bit because they take the sack here and go 3 and out. But Long Beach defense had a great job today of keeping the ball in front of them, being able to stop the run. But they were so locked in on the run, they got faked out by the play action, and so did I, and the wrestlers score going up 10-0. But Jaden Davis was having a field day, no pun intended, on the kick returns, taking most of his returns out past the 50-yard line. But even with the good field positioning, the Vikings would only come up with the field goal to get their first, first points. But that's okay, because Thaddeus Dixon comes up with the INT and runs it back a few yards to set up the Viking offense with another good field position. Then Mr. Gallup, Gallup, Gallup away on the move. Saeed Galloway taking the handoff and picking up a few yards, but I promise this is not the same clip. Vikings only end up with another field goal, and now they trail 10-6. to And the LBCC defense trying to come up with another stop so they have a chance to take the lead. But Golden West offense drops a dime in the end zone. The diving catch puts them up 17-6 in the second quarter. And here he goes again. Jaden, can't touch this Davis, takes this kick back to around the 40-yard line. But the Vikings can't hold on to the ball, and Golden West comes up with it. Turnovers became a big factor in this game for LBCC. And the same defensive trend as before, D-line doing a good job on the run but being too locked in on it on this drive, and they get caught with the play action again, Rustlers go up 24 to six. Then coming out of halftime, Vikings have a misread on the wheel route and give up a big gain. This is not the way that they wanted to start the half, but they do end up with a red zone stop, forcing the Rustlers to only take a field goal and going up 27 to six. And the second half was big for quarterback Derek West, picking up a big gain on his feet here, then rolling out to his left and slinging a bullet over the freshman Isaiah Watson, and this offense is finally moving. The drive would end with Derek West doing his best Lamar Jackson impersonation, running one in here, and they now only trail 27-13. to 13. And the Vikings were good on the run all day, but to start the fourth quarter, give up a 56-yard touchdown run and puts them in a deeper hole, trailing 34-13. to 13. Now, offense with their backs up against the wall, trying to make a play, and they get a big one here on the short pass, trying to gain some momentum to get back into this game. And you would think things were going their way with plays like this one-hand grab, but it ended up being a turnover on downs. And the wrestlers trying to chew some clock on the ground would extend this drive, and they end up with a field goal, extending their lead to 37-13. The Vikings striving to get back into this game late. A nice catch here by Zach Leach to get down the field. And their offense really was not getting shut down today. They would put together some good drives, but minor mistakes would cut them short. And they would end up short on the scoreboard. But not on this drive. Derek West finds himself in the end zone again, cutting into the lead 37-20. to But it was a little too late. Vikings fall short for the second week straight and look to bounce back in two weeks against Ventura. We would like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And remember, for all Long Beach sports, stay tapped in right here with the 562.